I'm the executive director here at ProjectSeaWee.com. Today I'm going to be talking about Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PlayStation 3. But before I begin, I just want to say thank you to all our fans all across the world who supported us these last couple years. It means the world to us. I also want to just give a quick thanks to the artist known as Wayne Tobin. He did the brief introduction you hear at the beginning of this video review, and we've also teamed up with him for our future podcast, so you can look forward to that. You can check him out right here on YouTube. Okay, that's about all I have to say on that, so let's go ahead and jump on in. When's the last time you played a really great Pulp Fiction game? Yeah, we, we, we didn't think so either. The last really great action-adventure game, besides Pitfall, was probably the original Tomb Raider. Since then, Tomb Raider's had sort of a falling out and then a rebirth of sorts. But with Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Naughty Dog, the famous developer behind the Jack and Daxter series and the original Crash Bandicoots, was able to form something truly special. Here, as you can see, our little acrobatic friend, his name is Nathan Drake. He's a descendant of the famous historical figure Sir Francis Drake. And he's quite the adventurer. He's something like Indiana Jones. At the onset of the game, Nathan Drake is with a lady named Elena Fisher. She's the host of a Discovery Channel type documentary show. And along with an old timer named Sully, they are trying to find the underwater coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Now, instead of finding his body, what they happen to stumble upon is a book of clues that lead them to the lost island of El Dorado. There are many twists and turns along the way, and you're going to fall in love with the characters within the first half an hour of the adventure. As far as gameplay goes, as you can tell by the videos you're watching right now, gameplay is primarily split up into two two different directions. You have the Gears of War style covert uh, combat that you see right now, and then you've got the platforming elements. While Uncharted doesn't do anything particularly new, what it does do is refine both elements into almost a perfect package. There's a few issues here and there, like you can see as the, he's firing right now, uh, you might notice that he was able to kill that, uh, that person right away with a headshot. That doesn't always work. Other issues are, uh, for example, these guys with the uh, lasers. If they hit you once or twice, you'll die. Sometimes even if they hit you in the leg, which seems kind of silly. But overall, the variety of gameplay in terms of action and platform is near perfect. The inclusion of vehicles such as the Jeep that you're seeing right now and the uh, jet ski just help to enhance the overall experience. Specifically speaking, the Gears of War style cover system might not work quite as well as it does in that game, but you'll still, you'll still be able to survive any onslaught so long as you properly make use of all your surroundings. And that's what makes Uncharted somewhat unique to Gears of War in the sense that you're not in a city that's been totally destroyed or anything like that. You're in this wide, lush forest. You go into catacombs and things of that nature. And it really does make a difference. It should also be noted that Uncharted features hand-to-hand -hand combat system as well, which works particularly good. And it, it's, it's actually really exhilarating when you beat the hell out of someone because it looks just so fantastic. The Prince of Persia style platforming elements look just as superb. And speaking of graphics, take a look at the water effects you're seeing right now. Those are some of the best we have ever seen to date. And that goes for just about everything. Outside of some screen tearing, which if you watch the video close enough, you can see actually right now, there's really not too much to complain. The polygons that Naughty Dog was able to put into this game are probably the most we've ever seen of any video game released this generation. The sheer number of animations Nathan Drake has will simply blow your mind. And it's just the little touches too. Like as you saw in that one scene, whenever Nathan gets hurt too badly, the screen goes a little bit black and white and you hear his heart beating more and more. And if you're lucky enough to have a DualShock 3, you'll actually feel his heartbeat in the controller. But this is Naughty Dog, you know? This is what we sort of come to expect from that developer. They're just, their attention to detail is nothing short of mind-blowing. Take a look at the, this. Look at the scenery here. It's just, it's just incredible. And as good as this game looks, I mean, yeah, there are a few technical issues, like I said, 
But as, as good as this game looks, it runs even better. It almost never slows down. And when it does, it, it's, it's truly, you know, few and far between. But I gotta say, if there's one thing that really blew my mind with Uncharted, it was the sound. If you've got a good surround sound setup at your house, you are going to freak out. The game is in DTS 5.1. And if you have any of the next generation sound effects, you can pump it out even higher. And let me tell you, the little subtleties that are in the soundtrack will blow your mind. You'll hear birds chirping off on your left, left back speaker, just things like that. You'll hear guys walking up, so you'll know if someone's coming around the side, you'll hear little birds twerping or whatever, and you'll know, oh, okay, there's, there's someone slowly, you know, trying to sneak up on me. And it's all of these things that come together that really make Uncharted just a truly sensational game and it, it is a showstopper for the PlayStation 3 and the replay value is through the roof because there are so many unlockables that you can go back and, uh, and, and check out things like uh, new graphic fonts, there's uh, new costumes for Nathan and just so much more now that's pretty well all she wrote for Uncharted if you have a PlayStation 3 this is without a doubt one of the very best games currently available on the system and truly it's one of the best games out there period Justin Simpson, who wrote the review on ProjectSeely.com, awarded the game a 9.3 on 10, and it also won our PS3 Game of the Year award, as you can see right here. So remember, check out ProjectSeely.com for all your latest reviews, and thanks, and see you soon.